Hi, welcome to Wellness Wednesday with Sandy Gordon coming at you live from her teacher's lounge. Um, so before I get started with today and checking in on you and seeing how you're doing, sharing with, with you some of the things that um, I'm doing, I just want to point out that I got so many notifications of people thinking that that was part of my hair. Now, you all know that I'm all about a good joke and I love to have a good time. I would not wear something like that in my hair. But if you got a laugh out of it, wonderful. That's what this is all about. Let's learn to laugh a little bit more right now in these particular wild and crazy times. So if that makes you happy and that makes you feel like I'm wearing a costume, so be it. Let's do what we got to do to just smile more. So yes, coming at you live from my um, teacher's lounge. And uh, yeah, how am I doing? Yesterday, I learned I received a contract extension on my teaching career. So, said no one. No one's excited about that. But uh, this is where we are, right? So, I can choose to be upset. I can choose to withdraw, be mad, whatever. But this is where we are. So, I'm taking it all in stride. Today, what we're going to do um, for Jim, we're going to jump on the bikes. It looks like we might get a little bit of sunshine today. So I'm grabbing my Rowdy, my Koozie Insulated Fanny Pack. You see, I got some snacks for us as we're running, uh, riding the bikes around the park today. Um, I'm also going to throw on some tunes. So whether it's with the Bluetooth um, tumbler or with our Marley speaker hooked onto my bike, um, uh, Miles and I will be riding the bike around the park today jamming out, maybe get off, dance a little bit. You know me. Again, I like to have a good time. I like to do things that make me happy, make me smile. Uh, even with that being said, I threw a little ribbon in my hair. Again, just finding little ways to make me smile during the day, make me laugh, um, do what I have to do to continue to push through this. The last thing we want to do is let fear get a hold of us. Fear will paralyze you, not allow you to move forward in the spirit that you need to. You're still uh, managing your life with your family. You still have a business that you have to manage. There's four major events that are coming up. Um, April the 20th, if you're not familiar with it, that's um, 420 day. And that um, in the cannabis world is a very big deal. Um, so it uh, that's a great opportunity to um, support your clients um, in their cannabis buildings. We have Earth Day coming up. We have Nurses Week coming up. Not only should we be celebrating our nurses through this time, but we should also be celebrating everyone that's involved in any kind of hospital or facility, whether it's the custodian on up, because they're all responsible and doing such a wonderful job of taking care of the various patients and sacrificing so much of themselves right now. Um, that they need all the praise that we can extend to them. The other thing that's really important or another holiday that's really important or not holiday, excuse me, but it's a celebration. It's um, Teachers Appreciation Week. Um, so that's also in the month of May. And now more than ever, even though I've always respected teachers and what they do, more so than ever, I think we all now truly understand what teachers do and how teachers are so important to our children's and their the support that they extend to our children's. And that is another area of recognition that we need to be ready to support. So my question to you is, when we're all through this and when this is all said and done, will you be ready? Will you be ready to support your clients? The other thing that we could be focus on, focusing on right now is provide, creating um, pri uh, idea decks for your clients, right? Once we break through with this, they're going to be ready to, um, to, to spend money again. Will you be ready to support them? Right now, we should be brainstorming ideas on how you can be ready, how you can proactively engage them, even if they're just setting it aside for later, that you can be ready to support them in their needs. We have different things that, um, whether it's virtuals, we can put together um, storyboards, anything like that I can help support you with right now. Please don't allow fear to paralyze you and not allow you to continue to push forward every day. Right now, we need kindness and love, social distancing, keep your space, but we need kindness and love with one another so that we are able to support one another through this very difficult time. 
Be still. Be still. Take this time to just reset yourself. Reset your mind and your energy and just be still. I am here for you. Whatever I can do, I would love to know what you're doing right now to just get through. Share with me. I'm here for you professionally, personally. Um, and until next Wednesday, signing off. I look forward to hearing from you. And again, just be still. We got this. We're going to get through this. Take care.